If it's 21%... We're going to look at an experiment that compares the use of carbohydrate and caffeine in a sports drink to a flavoured water placebo. To all intents and purposes, the students think they're drinking two different sports drinks. But one will be flavoured water, made to, to look and smell and taste like a sports drink, and the other drink will contain carbohydrate in the form of glucose and caffeine. Two, one, start cycling, off you go, reset your clocks. We'll then compare a range of physiological measurements during 75 minutes of exercise before asking the students to ride for as long as they possibly can to exhaustion. The measurements that we take include blood glucose, oxygen consumption, carbon dioxide production and the ratio of fat to carbohydrate use as well as perceptual measures of the student's rating of difficulty and heart rate. And at the end of the experiment we'll know something about whether these drinks have an effect on physiological performance as well as the time to exhaustion. Empty attack, come on, you're on the flying straight now, come on. Pass under these, come on. Yes, come on. Yeah, great recovery, you got this, come on. So the students have a script that they have to work through which tells them when they have to take the various measurements and at the exact time points. That way we can make sure across the two different weeks of the experiment, students are taking the exact same measurements in the exact same way at the exact same time point. A really, really important principle to teach the students is that whatever they do in the first week, they must do exactly the same in the second week so that the only thing that changes is the drink that the students are exposed to. In this group of students, approximately half don't believe that sports drinks have any effect on people's performance, that they're just expensive water. So what we're going to find out today and show the students firsthand is whether or not these drinks do make a real difference in a real setting such as this laboratory class. Students will learn the techniques of taking scientific measurements during a sports drinks practical and they'll see for themselves whether drink and nutrition changes can actually alter people's physiology during real world tasks.